And with that traditional Gatorade cooler shower, the KU men's basketball team is the 2008-2009 PSAC East champions after an 82-76 win over Cheney Wednesday. Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Golden Bear Weekly. I'm your host, Dan Kerrigan. As you just saw, there was plenty to celebrate at Keystone Hall Wednesday. Not only was it a great win for the program, it was a great win for the winningest senior class in school history. All three seniors were honored before the game. Here is Jimmy Johnson with the story. As if Wednesday night at Keystone Hall needed any more hype before the game, all three seniors were honored before tip-off as it was senior night. Dave Ben, Mark Bauer, and Andre Woodland all stood at center court with framed jerseys, taking in the moment. Two hours later, it would be just another part of what is already a highlight-filled season. The highlight of the season actually right now will be tonight. I mean, you know, you can't, every game, every game's a highlight in my eyes. I mean, I'm, you know, they're winding down, I got too many left. So every game is a highlight. Um, I think the season in a whole, I would say is, is the highlight of my, you know, of, of my career, and, and I could say that probably for the rest of, the, you know, other seniors. It's, it's this year has been amazing, and you know we lost a couple, a couple of close ones early that we shouldn't have, but we just bounced back and it showed like great heart, and our team has our back, and you know, and it, like tonight I, I didn't play that well tonight, but it just goes to show you how good our team is at the, to step up. We had young guys off the bench like Jeremy Coombs and Ryan White come up and play a heck of a game and. They, you know, it's, that's, that's what the team's about. There's, that's why there's no I in team, and, and that's what we need, you know, because not everybody's going to have their best game every night. Andre Woodland had a great night for KU, scoring 15 points and pulling down eight rebounds. But more importantly, he made the suggestion to switch up the defense in the latter part of the game, which helped KU come back and win 82-76. to I mean, it was, what, 3.50 on the clock? We was playing zone for, like, the beginning part of the game. It was just crunch time. It was time to strap our, uh, strap our sneak up and go at it, like, because it, it was crunch time. You got you to gotta go at it. Like, no point of sitting back. It's time to be aggressive on defense, go after the rebound and stuff like that. That change helped KU erase a five-point deficit and win their 23rd game of the season. More importantly for the nationally ranked Golden Bears, it sealed up the PSAC East title, which was even sweeter after the season sweep of Cheney. It was, it was clutch because the last three years we, we didn't have, you know, we shared, well, last year we shared the PSAC and we never won it before. So this year it was good to come clinch it at home and, you know, be be the PSAC champs all by PSAC East champs all by ourselves, and it's just a good momentum going to the next game. Ooh, big game! Every year we come up here. Every year they come up here. We know it's not a regular game. Every time it's a playoff atmosphere because we go down there and have fun, and they come up here and have fun. Then especially a senior night, gotta get the big win, the biggest one I probably had since I came here. It also was a big win for their head coach Bernie Driscoll, as it set the school record for wins in a career with 137. I mean that's big for me because he brought me in here. So I'm happy. I'm glad I was able to be a part of it, and I hope he has more, many more to come. It's, just, it's something good to, to remember the rest of my life. This team, you know, my teammates and all. It, you know, there's something that this this game right here is something that's gonna stick in my mind forever. And it's good to come up, get it at home always with our fans. Our fans are great tonight. A lot of support. We love we love that. We're talking about that in the locker room. Our fans are you know just all getting hyped and you know have our back even when we're not looking so good. They still have our back and. It's like I said, it's something we're going to remember the rest of our lives, especially our seniors, and it's a great, great team, like a family, and, and the coaches do a great job. So it's just, it's great to do it at home, and it's great to go out like this, you know, out the regular season like this. The Golden Bears will open the PSAC playoffs with a quarterfinal contest at Keystone Hall. For Golden Bear Weekly, I'm Jimmy Johnson. Thanks, Jimmy. Don't let the weather fool you. Baseball is here. The KU baseball team is off to a hot start at 7-2. Golden Bears just won five games at the Builder Invitational in Newport News, Virginia last weekend, scoring 68 runs in all. Jared Fry led KU with 16 RBIs, batting 406 with four doubles, a homer, and nine runs scored. Freshman Shane Houck also had a great weekend, batting 323 with 10 RBIs, six doubles, and a homer, and nine runs scored. KU would be back in action at the Savannah Invite during spring break. Now for some more highlights of last week, here's John Leonard with his weekly campus tour.
The KU women's basketball team secured a playoff bid last Saturday with a win over Shippensburg and added their ninth PSAC East victory Wednesday with a comeback win over Cheney. Melissa McQuaid led the Golden Bears, tying her career high with 30 points. She also pulled down 19 rebounds. With that, she set the new single season record for rebounds. KU will close out the regular season on Saturday against Bloomsburg. Ryan White came up huge for the KU men's basketball team against Cheney, pulling down a team-high seven offensive rebounds, including a rebound that led to the go-ahead basket by Steven Dennis. His clutch play seconds later, throwing a loose ball off a Cheney defender and out of bounds helped seal the win. At the PSAC Swimming Championships, the KU women's team was off the charts and into the record books all weekend. Steph Jefferson set three new school records in the 100 and 200 yard breaststroke events as well as the 200 individual medley. She swam all three in NCAA A-cut times. Heather Wolcom also set school records in the 1000 and 1650 freestyle events while Laura Hebner swam a new school record in the 400 individual medley. The women's team overall finished seventh out of 14 teams at the meet. And that's your weekly campus tour. I'm John Leonard. Thanks, John, and thank you for watching this week's edition of Golden Bear Weekly. We will be on spring break next week, but KU Sports will not be, so log on to www.kubears.com to keep up with KU Athletics. We will return in two weeks with a new episode of Golden Bear Weekly. Have a great spring break.